Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look using Makeup Geek Shadows and the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So a lot of first impressions in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. I love this look. So enough talking, let's jump right into the video. Naked face. Ashley is going to start off by priming her face with the Skinny Navia Makeup Primer Spray. I love this stuff. I'm almost out and I'm super sad about it. Now on to foundation. I'm going to be using the new Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wearing Liquid Foundation. And my shade is in the shade 8.75. And I'm going to be using this with a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be blending this all over my face. I only needed to use two pumps of this all over my face and I got the most beautiful coverage. I was super impressed. Now moving on to contouring, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm just going to be placing the medium brown shade all around the outer perimeter of my face and blending it in again with a damp beauty blender. These creams can be drying at times. I just add a little drop of oil, swirl it around, and they blend out seamlessly if they ever get dried out, so it's a good tip. Now moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just going to be placing that underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. This is the first time using this as well, and I was really impressed with how this turned out and the coverage it gave underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to be setting my concealer in place. I'm just going to be baking everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and my damp beauty blender. Again, you just dip it in that stuff and you just place it underneath your eyes. I know it's scary. You can't just dip it in a little bit. You gotta get a lot and then it just works fine. And now I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup Yellow Setting Powder and I'm just going to be setting that on the outer perimeters of my face anywhere that I did not bake. Now moving on to contouring, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder and I'm going to be using this to bronze my face, making sure I blend that into my hairline. I'm going to be blending that into the hollows of my cheeks and on my jawline just to make sure everything looks nice and bronzed and my face doesn't look like a potato. Now I'm going to be dusting off the excess powder from where we baked underneath our eyes. And I'm just going to be contouring my nose. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, when you contour your nose, it doesn't really look like it's contoured. I just like my nose to look a little more defined. I don't want it to look necessarily smaller. And I do like how it looks when I add a little bit more color to my nose. So just my personal preference. And now I'm going to be going in with blush. And I'm going to be using the blush Summer Fling mixed with the blush Covet by Makeup Geek brand new blushes obsessed with them now moving on to the eyes I have primed the eyes using the Too Faced shadow insurance and I'm setting that in place using creme brulee from makeup geek now moving on to the crease with the big fluffy brush I'm going to be buffing into the crease cocoa bear by makeup geek as well and just making sure this is nicely blended into the crease so we have no harsh lines Next, I am going in with Mocha, and I'm just going to be focusing that strictly in the crease, right in the fold, just to give my eye some more definition and really darken that crease. And then I'm just going to buff everything out again with that MAC fluffy brush to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now, going in with the star of the show, I'm going to be using the shade Glamorous, also by Makeup Geek. I'm going to be placing that right on my eyelid. I'm going to really be focusing this on my eyelid and carving out the crease. So I'm going to make sure that my eyelid is nice and defined and just following the natural shape of my eye. Now onto eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and this stuff is no joke. It is pretty intense. Had a hard time getting it off my eyes. And I'm going to be going in with Mocha again and just buffing out that liner. And 
now for winged liner. I'm going to be using my tried and true wet and wild liquid liner and I'm just going to be giving myself a nice cat eye. Now for lips, I'm going to be going in with MAC's Boldly Bare Lip Liner. And right on top of that, I'm going to be using Strip Down from MAC as well. Once that is finished, I'm going to top it off with this beautiful pink shade from Violet Gray. This is the MAC Mineralize Lip Gloss in Lovingly You. And I'm just going to place that all over my lips. I love this gloss and how it feels on my lips. It's not crazy sticky, which I like. And I'm just going to apply Social Eyes Vixen Lashes and apply a coat of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And now for highlight! I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics Collaboration Highlight Palette and I'm going to be mixing Prosecco Pop with Champagne Pop. Look at that glow, girl, yes! And then I'm just going to be highlighting the high points of my face. Once that is finished, I'm going to be setting everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for new videos every week. And don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or requests for future videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.